Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to class. Today is Tuesday, May 18, 2020. Okay, so I know that today is not Monday and that we did have a mystery reader yesterday because it was Monday. But the title of this part of your video is not Mystery Reader Monday. I had another person that you guys know ask me if they could reach you. They were very excited. And of course, I'm going to say yes. So I changed the title to Special Reader Tuesday. And I really hope that you like the book. Hi kids, this is Mr. Gandara, and today I'm going to be reading The Brave Monkey Pirate by Hayes Roberts. One day, the pirate Mari was out running errands with his mom. They shopped for groceries and ate peas at his favorite restaurant. Then the pirate Mari's mom said, Oh yes, we need to stop off at the doctor's office for a quick checkup. The doctor checked Mari's heart, his blood pressure, and his knees. Then he explained that Mari would come back the next day and get a shot to protect him from scurvy or something. The pirate Mari did not like shots. That evening, his father came home and Mari told him all about the visit to the doctor. Mari's father said, Mari, I know something that can help you. Take this map and my fastest pirate ship and find it. Also, if you say very yourself for the doctor, you can have some ice cream. So Mari followed the map through the wildest seas and climbed up volcanoes filled with fiery lava and sneaked past creatures so terrible that they will not be described in this book until he reached an icy castle at the top of the mountains. Inside, he found a great crab wizard on a crab wizard throne. The crab wizard spoke these words. Monkey pirate, because you have braved many obstacles to get here, I will give you this rock. When you get a shot, you must squeeze the rock very tightly and count to three. You will be, ma you will ma be magically taken into the future where the shot will be finished. Also, you can have some ice cream after. The pirate Mahdi thanked him and sailed back home to get some sleep. The next morning, he took the rock with him to the doctor's office. The doctor hummed a little song and filled up Mahdi's shot. Mahdi closed his eyes very tightly, squeezed the rock as hard as he could, and counted one, two, three. The crab wizard was right. The shot was finished. The brave monkey pirate was now immune to scurvy and some other stuff. And he had some ice cream on the way home. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I'm sure that you enjoyed the book, right? Yes. So make sure that you thank Mr. Gandara when you see him. He was very excited to read to you, okay? So this is the activity that will be waiting for you in Seesaw. Now you're gonna draw yourself and you're gonna complete the sentence at the bottom where it says, when I grow up, I want to be, and then you have to fill in the blank. Then make sure to put your name on it and then, um, you can all see it in Seesaw, and it's also something for your parents to keep to remember when you did very well and graduated kindergarten. And it's a fun activity. So that one's waiting for you in Seesaw. So we're going to move on to our mystery animal game. Okay, so this game is a really fun game i like to play it it is a clue game so i'm going to read to you a riddle now you're probably like a what well i said a riddle 
A riddle is like a mystery question with clues. So I'm gonna tell you some things. I'm gonna give you some clues about the mystery animal that you have to draw on box number one. Then I'm gonna give you a mystery animal clue or several clues that you have to draw on box number two. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the animal you need to draw on box number three. Okay, are you ready? You're gonna have to turn on your listening ears like very loud because I'm not gonna tell you what the animal is. I'm just gonna give you clues. So you have to pay attention to the clues. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, number one. My wings are used as flippers. So in water, I can flow. Sometimes when on land, I slide on my belly in the snow. That's box number one. So you can pause the video or you can listen to it again so you can listen for those clues. You can draw what you think that mystery animal is. All right, so box number two. Some people are scared of this creature because it can have a big bite. So be careful out in the ocean. One of its kind is a great white. So that is your riddle or mystery clues for number two. Again, you can pause it or you can listen to the riddle again to see if you can think of which animal that could be. Now we're gonna move on to box number three of mystery animal game. I'm a pet that has four legs and a tail at the end. You might hear me barking and I'm known as man's best friend. So that is the riddle for box number three. Listen to them as many times as you need to. Draw what you think it might be. And I'm excited to see if you guys were paying attention. I, I really am excited to see what kind of mystery animal you draw for me, okay? I hope you like this mystery animal game. If you did, then who knows, I may send you some more riddles over the summer if you want me to. Um, send me a message through Seesaw and let me know that you want me to maybe send you some of these mystery animal game riddles and you can play with your friends and your family and I'll be more than happy to do that, okay? Okay, so now, before we end today's lesson, we have to spin the randomizing wheel to see what activity we will be doing tomorrow. All right, are you ready? And, and we have show and tell tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So. I have a few rules for show and tell. So for show and tell, the requirements are that one, you must record yourself, but not your face, okay? Just record whatever you wanna show the rest of us. Just record that thing, but it must be something that 
mean something to you. Like if you have a special little stuffed animal or a special little purse or a special notebook that you want to share with us, then all you have to do is take a video of it and tell us why it's special to you. Remember, don't record your face, just your voice, okay? And send it to me through Seesaw. And the reason I want you to send it to me through Seesaw is because I wanna include it and I want everybody else to see your show and tell in tomorrow's lesson, okay? All right, perfect. So we are done. This is the lesson for today, boys and girls. And it's not, I guess, a full lesson. It's more like our fun kinder activities for the last week of school, right? All right, well, have a great rest of your day. I miss you very, very much. And I hope to see you on Friday at our parade. Have a good day.